Speaking of uh, aliens, um, Joe, is it possible that there <laughs> is more to this universe than than what we know? Y'all ready for some mind blow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say, are you ready for some mind blow? <laughs> yeah. Hit me with the big daddy. What? All right. So, um, according to an article in New Scientist, we may have some evidence for a parallel universe. And I didn't get a chance to really study this article, so I'm just going to kind of give you the highlights. But basically... In the Antarctic, you know, we have all these bases down there and they're always doing science stuff and there's neutrino detectors and whatnot. And in 2016, they had an experiment that they did that was called the ANITA experiment. Yeah, An Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna. And it was like a hot air balloon kind of, or a weather balloon kind of thing. They put it up in the, in the sky to try to catch uh, cosmic rays, high energy cosmic rays, neutrinos and that kind of thing. Well, they caught a high-energy cosmic ray. Problem is, it wasn't coming from above. It was coming from below. It was coming up from the ground. And they came up with all kinds of crazy ideas to try to explain this because uh, neutrinos can kind of pass through everything, but high-energy cosmic rays cannot. They this, this would have collided and shattered into all kinds of other little uh, particles and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, many different ideas that they've come up with to try to explain this. Right here it says, no known physics can account for the perplexing signal that they picked up on. And, and it wasn't like someone at the base station with the microwave going. <laughs> <laughs> Not that's going to create some high energy cosmic rays unless they've got really, really strong microwaves down there. Um, but the... the uh, the theory that they're being uh, that they're advocating in this story here is that it was actually a particle traveling backwards in time hmm. from a parallel universe that is traveling backwards in time from our own. What? So, so like in that universe, everything just works in reverse. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we all just walk backwards. Yeah, and like undo <laughs> keystrokes on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's you see an it's, it's all page. the delete key yeah you're right. so here let me explain a theory that i've had for a while and i'm sure there's some astrophysicists out there that are going to be screaming at this and that's perfectly <laughs> fine um so i've covered antimatter on videos before and one of the theories on antimatter okay so at the beginning of the universe the big bang uh all of this matter was created and it should have, according to theoretical physics and the standard model and our, our interpretation of it all, uh, it should have created both particles and antiparticles, like in the same measure. Mm -hmm. And the theory is that there was a slight asymmetry there, maybe for every billion uh, antiparticles, there were a billion and one normal particles, and they all annihilated each other and what's left over is what we see now universe. so yeah. with yeah so so technically the universe is only one one billionth of what was actually created in the big bang according to that theory another theory is that uh antimatter is basically regular matter going backwards in time hmm. whoa and so this theory would basically say that at the big bang um there were equal parts matter and antimatter only they went in two different time directions. Whoa. Into like two different universes, basically. Right. Whoa. And so, I mean, if you were to, if you were to have a, a linear timeline, then one universe would travel out this way and one universe would travel out that way. Of course, the universe is not on a linear timeline. It's all 3D. So it's basically two, you can imagine like two bubbles of universes expanding out. You could color one blue and one red if you want to kind of help, you know, understand it a little bit better but there's two universes expanding out going through time only one of them is sort of backwards in time weird. and we're forwards in time weird which one are we well uh, to the other they, universe we're going backwards in time how yeah how would we know we don't know <laughs> and so i mean that's the theory that they're going with on this to explain how the these cosmic rays because this happened twice now they caught one in 2016 and one in 2018 is the idea that um, instead of thinking of it as coming out of the ground, it was actually going into the ground like normal in this Backwards. other universe, but we sort of caught it 
So to us, it looks like it's coming out of the ground. Jeez. That's wild. My brain. Have you, that's insane. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the thing where you can, the science experiment where you can see cosmic rays? It has to do uh, with uh, like dry ice and you make, you have to make the room really dark and you get dry ice and it creates like a fog. And eventually it, you'll oh. see like little like things going through it. Well, so they have that with mm. uranium and radioactive material. I forget mm -hmm. what it's called. It does have a name, but you're right. It's it's almost like dry, dry ice fog. And you yeah. can see little right coming off of uranium. It's it's actually when that's, it's bananas. When I love the radiation it. so cool. like hits, when it hits something, it probably makes a little like spark almost or whatever. Well, the... The cosmic... kind of, it, it almost looks like a, a, a gunshot through uh, through smoke or something. Whoa. It's kind of like... Th 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 yeah. Here, I can... The, let me find it. You'll talk. I'll, I'll find something. Because cosmic rays, right, the way it works is it hits all the stuff that our planet has, like the whatever, atmosphere, magnetosphere, air, all those things. And it they don't get through, generally, but they create particles. They push all the other particles down. So you're seeing like the remnants of the cosmic rays hitting and causing other things. That's wild. Um, yeah, yeah, and 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 it's it's like we can talk about all this stuff, and it's like ha ha ha. But then when you see it, you're like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's super super. Yeah, here, bizarre. let me show this. Yeah, show me because I have I think never. N uh, I think no, NPR it's, it's did a whole looking. thing on it, um, because that was where the cosmic rays were blamed. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Now this is yeah, this is this is fifty minutes of this. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> like you just put this on your screen in the background while you're working and just do enjoy. this to some like lo-fi beats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> totally, yeah. That's cool. Don't think I won't. <laughs> jo so it says Joe's emanating alcohol channel. vapors fill the whole volume of the container until they reach the bottom of the chamber, maintained to a very cold temperature, negative forty degrees Celsius. Uh, and is this? And are the, this is from. Ooh. Uranium, or is this the, just the yeah? That's what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Um, let's find out this radioactive. Oh, it's code. Oh wait, Cloudy Labs or Cody's Lab? Oh, it is Cloudy, cloudy Labs. Labs. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, so that's their what? That's their okay. YouTube channel. Uh, I don't see what this is. Um, wait, okay. So th this video shows the Cloudy Labs cloud chamber running for approximately 50 minutes with a uranium mineral. Okay, so it's uranium. Yeah. Okay, that is insane. But isn't that crazy looking? Oh, I have never seen that. Wow. So, so like any radioactive substance, you can't see these things happening, but that's what's actually happening. Wow, the stuff <laughs> that's is scary, and that's the it. stuff that micro bullets that just go through you and kill you, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, it warps your DNA enough to kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, splices your DNA, and then your DNA is like, I'm a fish now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, you have gills in your neck, like Kevin Costner in Waterworld. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.